Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of October general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like the personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus Individuals. When I was meditating over your energy, the song that I heard was Ribbon in the Sky by Stevie Wonder, who happens to also be a Taurus. So you could be dealing with a fellow Taurus, Sun Moon Rising, Venus Individual, or this could be your feelings, okay? Now the message that I got with this is that they won't be quiet about this one. In other words, this connection, they're putting it out in the open for everyone to see. Because what he says in the song, he says, I put a ribbon in the sky for our love. In other words, what I'm getting is like somebody's ready to put something on display. Okay. You either you could be feeling like this, okay? Because again, Stevie Wonder is a tour, so you could be feeling like this, or this is how this person feels about you. Like they want the world to know that they have a good one, okay? Like they found someone that they feel like they want to be with long term. Now, even if you are single and you're not dating anyone, I definitely feel like this relates to you also because it's like when you connect with, and I keep seeing something with Capricorn. Capricorn season is December, January time frame. So you could be meeting someone in this time frame, okay? If you meet this person, I feel like immediately this person is going to want the world to know that they found somebody that they feel proud to brag about. They feel proud to display. That's what I'm getting. So I want to show you this also. You guys know often when I shuffle, I look at the back or the bottom of the deck. At the very bottom of the deck, you got the sun. The sun is putting everything right out there in the open. That's like that ribbon in the sky, okay? Because the sun grabs everything's attention. And I feel like this person wants to put you on display, okay? They're very proud of the connection they have with you. They find you to be very attractive. They find you to be a good look for them overall is what I'm getting. So I definitely feel like, again, either this person's going to be doing this to you or you're doing this. If you've been dating someone for a couple of months and it's just, you know, you've just been kind of keeping it to yourself because... You want to see how things go. I feel like finally someone is going to start posting stuff on social media. And that's not the all oh, the be all of everything. But sometimes people do like to do that just to let them, some people know like, yeah, I'm with someone that I'm very interested in. Because I know a lot of people are big on, okay, why do we care about posting stuff on social media? That's nobody's business. I agree. But I also feel like there's something about this person it just makes someone feel so smitten and they want the world to know that they're happy. Because the sun also denotes the energy of happiness and joy. So I get that also. Also keep in mind we are in Libra season, okay? So if you're already dealing with someone, you could be doing this in Libra season or they could be doing this in Libra season. Because Libra is ruled by the planet Venus and that's your ruling planet also if you are a um, Taurus sun sign. And you do have sun. So let's see. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hair font. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we will get clarifiers for those cards. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the, you got the Queen of Pentacles, your energy. Whether you're a male or female, doesn't matter, okay? You have the Queen of Pentacles. Like, somebody is very proud to show you off. You see how she's holding that pentacle? Or you're very proud to show someone off, okay? Pentacles denote the energy of value. So someone sees your value or you see someone's value and you see them as a valuable asset in your life. And it's being put on display. She's holding that pinnacle. That's exactly what I was just saying. So let's go ahead and do a couple shuffles. You may have known this person for a while. Six of Cups. This is people that you have history with in this lifetime, past lifetime, um, soulmates. And then you also have the Knight of Cups. So somebody just swooped in and stole your heart. Or you swooped in, swooped in and stole somebody's heart. That's exactly what you get. You know, the Knight of Cups is definitely your Knight in Shining Armor, Princess Shining Armor. Somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet, makes you feel safe. Because knights are here to protect and serve their kingdom so you feel safe with this person or you feel like now you're safe to put it out there or they may feel like that. Again, I'm going to say if you are single, I very well feel like you may be meeting somebody in Capricorn season. For some of you all, if you get invited to like a um, New Year's party, you may meet this person on New Year's Eve. You may end up taking pictures with this person. You know how people drink and have a good time and then they meet people and then alcohol leads to one thing. And it's like you may end up taking a picture with this person. And it's like the first time you ever met them, like it's just an instant feeling like you feel safe with this person. You feel like this is your person. I'm also feeling like if, if you go to a gathering on New Year's, like a New Year's party, you may end up meeting somebody there and just the whole night you're just going to sit and talk to this person. And somebody may get some pictures, just taking random pictures and you and this person could be in the background and somebody posts it on social media. And say, for instance, you guys don't exchange phone numbers and things like that. 
somebody may be reaching out like, who is this person? I meant to get this person's number, but I had to leave or whatever, whatever. And I'm getting a lot of different scenarios, but whatever the case is, I'm, I'm getting like a connection coming in. Okay. So let's go through the deck. Yeah. Manifesting something. Manifesting your knight in shining armor, your princess in shining armor. Yeah. Somebody who's going to come save you from singlehood if you're single <laughs> is what I'm getting there. Wow. This will happen soon. Okay. For a lot of you all. I didn't even get that far. So the first card you got there is the temperance card, Sagittarius energy, November, December time frame. Now you may end up meeting somebody in Sag season or they can have Sagittari uh, Sagittarius placements, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, but this also talking about tempering yourself, being patient. So somebody was waiting before they kind of put their relationship out there. I feel like it's going to come out now, possibly because they've been hurt in the past. And see, this isn't even a card, but as I moved it, you see that? Wow. Okay. You see how these cards are just coming up? Okay, somebody's been hurt from the past in the past regarding somebody that they have a child or children with or they've known since they were very young. So this is actually, this came out right here, but you see it was stuck to that. And as I moved it, this is your card, the Six of Cups. So this person is definitely a soulmate. And then I also feel like somebody has been hurt in the past by a soulmate or someone they have children with. And that's why they were waiting before they posted it because, you know, they didn't want to look stupid. This is you withholding four of pentacles. Hold on for their life, withholding, like holding back, not sharing that you're dealing with someone. You got two fours here, so you could be a April Taurus. Hmm. Some kind of a four-year-old child also. I also heard that somebody may have twins. Or you have a sibling that you look so much like that people think you and your sibling are twins. And that's very interesting because I've never gotten that before with this card, but I'm getting that. So this could be like you withholding you know, information that you're dating someone, you don't want to put it out there because it's kind of like, you just want to wait and see because you want to make sure things don't go south or sour, okay? Um, I'm also getting, you could be involved in a water sign, a, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, someone rising Venus individual as well. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you guys are still dealing with some type of um, feelings of not being, like you don't want to trust someone so quickly, because you've been deceived in the past. Again, this could be that person also. Now, if you're single and you haven't met this person yet, you wouldn't get that information immediately. But I feel like when you meet this person, you're they're going to explain that. Like, I've been through a lot in relationships, so I'm, I'm not very trusting. And I don't want to put myself out there. Part the deck, sword. So this person also could have been involved with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, we are in Libra season. So I'm going to tell you, if you're with someone right now, you may have felt like, okay, I don't know if I can put something out there. You may have even been, you or this person, somebody's possibly been telling someone lies about why they don't display that they're in a relationship and things like that. There is some type of deception here, but I don't feel like it's meant to be evil. I feel like this is just someone who's scared to do it because they've been through something in the past is what I'm getting. Let's get a clarifier for your six of cups. Clarify for your six of cups. As well as your four of cups. Definitely strong water energy here. So that's somebody's emotions and feelings. They're withholding things, you know, because of emotional attachments to past situations here. Bottom of the deck, yep. So you got the judgment card, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. And someone made a poor judgment call about why they weren't telling the truth about something. Definitely something involving a family structure, okay? And it, it did a number on them. Or you. Let's get a clarify for the Six of Cups. A clarify for the Six of Cups. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we had a card flip up. Yeah. So you got the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, and then the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. And then in the back, you got the Emperor. Aries energy also may have been involving um, someone that you thought was a twin flame soulmate or someone that you were married to or someone they were married to or in a long-term relationship with. Something ended here. Yep, something ended here. Someone possibly may have become single in September, which we literally, literally just left out of. Um, and then also, wow, you, and I always post on my, I typically post on my community section and things like that to say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. On the very first day of um, each month, say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit to call in abundance. So if you haven't done that, say out loud, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit to call in abundance. If you think about it like the Lucky Rabbit's Foot, it talks about abundance and calling in um, things in regards to fertility, wealth, also good health, blessings coming in. So say that out loud. Say rabbit three times, calling it abundance. 
Um, but any, anyway, as I was saying, I feel like something happened to someone and they were very much going through some hurt, right? Because the nine of wands, the wounded warrior, someone was hurt. They were devastated because of something that happened, but now you have it in reverse. So now it's like, okay, someone's ready to put it all out there or put their self out there. They're ready to heal emotionally and they're ready to give love a chance again. By the deck, we just had the temperance card. You got it again in reverse. Um, also, so if you are dealing with someone, you may be losing patience with this person. Like, I didn't do it to you, so why am I, you know, why am I been, being hidden? Don't hide me, you know. And it's not so much like you need validation, but it's like, don't hide me because you've been through some things. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. So don't put me in that category with that person. Let's get a clarifier for the Four of Cups. Clarifier for the Four of Cups for Taurus. Some who rise in Venus individuals. Most sources that I know are very lively and they put their love for people out there in the open. So you don't hide no Taurus. <laughs> I'm a Taurus moon and Taurus Mercury. And I can tell you one thing. If you feel the need to have me, then we can't be together, okay? You got the two of swords, okay? Sword of possess, sword down is no. Two of swords talking about indecision, not being sure, certain what to do, not wanting to make a, a fool of yourself. And see, I'm just noticing how she's blindfolded. You get what I'm saying? Like somebody does not want to put something out there because they're afraid of putting it out there and being made a fool of. I will tell you, I am that such a person. Again, I'm, I'm one of those type of people like, if until I know for sure that we solid, I'm not posting shit. I'll be, you would think I'm single forever because I will never post nothing. I will never introduce anyone to anyone because I want to know for us. I don't do anything for the world. It's about us and are we solid? So somebody may be feeling like that in a situation. They may have that same thought pattern and it could be you because again i said I, i'm a mercury taurus taurus moon so it, it, you may be feeling the same way it could very well be you because again ribbon in the sky is sang by um stevie wonder who is a taurus son so it could be you feeling like yeah i'm not gonna put this out here just yet because i just want to be safe for some of you all you could have a person that you're dealing with or associated with saying like i want to put this out here they're talking to you about it like I want, you know, I want to post this picture of us or something like that. You're kind of looking like, hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I may not be ready for that yet. And because we just seen that temperance card in reverse, this person may become impatient. Like, okay, what are you hiding? Are you dealing with someone else or is it me? Like, what's going on? There could be a conversation that's going to be had about that. But I definitely feel like someone wants to put something out there in the open for everyone to see. They, they feel proud of the connection they have. And they want to put it out there. But you may not be so ready for that. Somebody's not ready for it. But then this other person involved is. And again, I'm going to say, if you are single, I feel strongly like you're going to meet somebody either in Sag season, November, December time frame, or Capricorn season. Something very strong with December. Because both Sagittarius and Capricorn are associated with December. So somebody's going to meet someone in December. That's what I'm getting. You may very well meet someone in that time frame. Some mosquito. Lord, what is a mosquito doing in here? <laughs> Forgive me. You may meet somebody in um in that time frame, in December time frame, and this person has been through some things, and they may want to move very quickly, and you may not be feeling it. Somebody, somebody in the situation is not feeling it. That was a big ass mosquito, y'all. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, towards some moon rising and Venus individuals, as always, I'm gonna ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.